right, everybody, welcome to the Las Vegas Open 2022 Day 2 competition here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Endless, and I'm here today joined by Ryan of the staff cast, Ryan Swalowski. What's oh, up, hi, dude? everyone. Yes, what's up? <laughs> so here we are. Um, we are going to be broadcasting three games today. Uh, it is day two, and the... The goal is to go undefeated. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be it's a tough cut. It is going to be very tough. So this is, we started yesterday with 96. Yep. We are down to 48 or so. No, we're down to 46. I think we're down to 46 today, 46 yeah. 46 players, yeah, because we have 23, uh, we have 23 uh, total tables being used, so we can extrapolate that, <laughs> that we've got... Uh, uh, 46 players in this tournament. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> math, so. math is hard. Math we, is hard in the morning. <laughs> we some of us may have had two liters of beer last night. Yeah, like some of us <laughs> may have gone to uh, a certain a certain restaurant and had a certain beverage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, our math early in the day, you know, give us a little grace, people. All right, give us yeah, a little grace. Yeah, please, uh, please do give us a little bit of grace. Uh, also, if you have any problems with the stream, please do let us know. We have some ability to uh, to fix it. Yeah. We have the we have the power now, and hopefully our um, our lag issues are have been resolved. We have lowered we've, we've lowered the bit rate again. We've changed some settings around, just make sure that we can stay live with the chat. <laughs> and uh, we really want to do that because we have some awesome giveaways today. Yes, we do. Uh, we love we love the um, the Legion community, and so we wanted to say hey, thanks for watching by giving away some gift bags. And uh, Ryan, why don't you tell us what these gift bags have inside? I, would I actually love to know don't. About I them. actually don't know. So we'll yeah, figure so this out together. Yeah, let's figure it out together. I have a paper here. <laughs> oh my goodness! We've got uh, a bunch of stuff from Six Up Supply. Obviously, the Legion Discord. AMG has sent us some cool stuff. Uh, we are going to be giving away some deployment markers from Six Up Supply, some victory tokens, objective tokens. I'm hoping these are the cool. I don't know if you got to see them, like the light up lightsaber oh, objective I hope those tokens. Are, I really hope those are. They're there. they're really pretty sweet. We've got some sets of uh, the Legion Discord tokens to give away. Uh, the fancy, incredibly hard to find sets of red and white attack dice. Wow. Um, that you know people in America apparently couldn't get so. Well, we have a lot of those. Uh, some Grogu 3D prints, some silhouettes, some card sleeves. We're going to be giving away a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we're going to what? We're going to try for two-ish. We're going to try for game. We're going to try for two giveaways per game today. We're we're stepping up the giveaways. We had one yeah. per game yesterday. We're stepping it up. We're doubling the fun. We're doubling down, <laughs> like you do in Vegas at the blackjack table. Right, right. We're giving away. <laughs> we're giving away uh, 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 two two bags per per game. So. Uh, get ready for that starting at about 2 or about a 10 a.m. Yep. We're going to open the giveaway. And the way this works is it was once the bot prompts you in the chat, you're going to type hashtag giveaway in the chat and uh, you'll be entered automatically into the giveaway once you do that. And uh, we'll leave it open for about an hour's time just to make sure everybody gets a chance to type in. And once that hour is expired, we're going to then uh, pull out a winner and from the bag and uh, yep. announce who won. And uh, I'll be taking your information if you win. So David will know where you live. I'll know do where you, you live. Do with that information as you yeah, will. Yeah, you got you to dox yourself to get the prize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, people want to. Uh, people are reminding me to do some point some point shifting here. Uh, you know what, Ryan? Why don't you tell us about the about the list today because let's let's talk about what what's happening here at this table we got we got a rebel list and we got yeah. a clone list i'm super i'm super excited we uh if you guys tuned in yesterday uh we've got ryan leedy uh who was featured i think in game two yesterday uh as our blue player running wookie fun stuff uh for the rebels you guys all have the list you know obviously hash it's exclamation part blue or red list um but we've got R2-D2, five naked rebel troopers, two Wookiee warriors uh, with battle shields. Not the, we don't need no bowcasters around here. Uh, tenacity, push, intel, and then some freedom fighters. So two, sh one shooty Wookiee, two melee Wookiees um, with no heavy weapons. They're just going to be three dudes sitting behind some, some cover going pew pew. And then a double speeder truck, uh, one of them with a reckless and the heavy laser retrofit and a comms jammer to get in there and, you know, 
do some do some delivering. One of them's a little bit more uh, beefed up with a Backworld Medic, Tactician, Shriv, the Laser Retrofit, and an onboard comms channel. So one kind of big support bus, and then more of a disruptor bus to kind of to kind of pair it out. Um, Sounds brutal. We yeah. saw it on stream actually. Yeah, uh, this was one we saw yesterday. This is one we saw yesterday. I believe it was game two. And we saw just how overwhelmingly threatening the Wook a triple Wookiee charge can be on one side of the battlefield with hemmed in. Right. And we saw how crazy the um, the bus with Shriv could be, even against opposition like Magna Guards. R2 pulled out a really amazing save against yeah. the Magna Guard charge and was able to survive and pick up that secret mission objective point. So, and then uh, and then we've got against it we've got an eight act Yoda list. Uh, right up to the almost to the hilt at 799 with Yoda with barrier push burst of speed and aggressive tactics. We get to see some Chewbacca action uh, in Republic Commander Chewbacca with protector and tenacity. Three naked phase ones and also three Wookies, two warriors, one Kashyyyk defender. So both players are rocking for their respective factions: two melee Wookies and one shooty Wookie. Uh, the two melee Wookies here also have battle shields, tenacity, but this time situational awareness. Makes sense. You've got, you know, the Yoda standby shenanigans. Um, Shooty Wookiees on the Republic side, though, do have room for the long gun. So they're going to they're gonna have an extra body. They're going to hit a little bit, just a smidge harder. Yes. So, but you're down a, a pretty significant activation count. Which, so it, uh, it's, it's a little bit similar to the list we saw yesterday from John Archiket, who yep. was playing uh, Yoda Wookiees as well. But he didn't bring Chewbacca. He favored uh, two ranged Wookiees and Padme with Overwatch. Right. That was his. That was his gag. This is a very different list. This, which is, yeah, they are focusing a lot more on Yoda being a, a, a really big attacking piece, especially with Chewbacca there to guardian him. That's going to make Chewie a very big factor in this game. We might even see um, that that card uh, size matters sometimes. Yeah, think. size matters sometimes. Exactly. Yeah, that, um, card, that card that makes Yoda and Chewie a, a really powerful single unit almost. It's like I think Yoda attaches himself to Chewie, and yep. then they can they move around and they use Yoda's defense table, and <laughs> there's all there's kinds all of, kinds of cool shenanigans. There's you can so pull. many cool things you can do. Yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to this because these are two types of lists. Like we've got a, a Rebel double heavy eleven activation. I mean, with just garbage core, but it's eleven acts versus an eight act Gar list. So like, we don't see many games where there's a big three act difference, but we all know that Yoda can make eight acts feel like nine or ten. Um, so it uh, should, should be an interesting game. Um, we did, I did get to go over and, uh, and chat with the players during turn zero. Um, and it was, a, it was a pretty interesting flop with uh, long march, key positions, and rapid in the first set of columns. Uh, blue then uh, immediately took out... Um, what was it KP? Whatever the first uh, or yeah KP immediately. Um, red taking out Long March, which makes sense. Yoda doesn't want to play. Yoda's our red red list. Doesn't want to play Long March into buses and Wookies. Uh, Blue then uh, Blue then thought a minute. Ryan had to sit there and think a minute and vetoed another objective, getting rid of intercept. I don't blame them. I don't want to play intercept against a, a force user if I don't have one. And then our last veto took us off of. Uh, off of intercept, got rid of bombing run, and left us with sabotage in the fourth column. So both players kind of working together to push the objective all the way to the last side to play uh, to play sab. To play sabotage, yes. And sabotage was the uh, objective that Ryan won on yesterday. He might be feeling some confidence sure. in that victory. I think this that list with the double buses with Wookiees inside can really get up there and get aggressive with wherever you choose to put your evaporators. I really like that objective for, for his Definitely. list. Definitely. This, this table is not... Um, it's not as open as it appears, I think. It looks, yeah. I think the, the you can get on top of cliffs for heavy cover. There's, um, I don't know if they're treating those really dense plant formations as heavy or light cover. We're gonna find out as, they, yeah. as the game progresses here. Players are still in turn zero, still setting up. Yeah, as a, as a TO and as a judge, it made my heart really, really happy that before, like they decided like, who's blue and who's red and then they before table edges was even picked up they were moving models around terrain and talking about how they were going to do stuff and what could move over what and what cover was instead of just hoping the judges will come tell them because that's not how legion tournaments that's, work that's <laughs> such an ideal thing you're like, right that's what you want 
You um, want the players to be conscientious, yeah. and you want them to be um, forward-thinking a little bit. Yeah, about absolutely. What, about what the challenges are going to be. Yeah, Colkey, you're absolutely right. The wife beater. It's it's suns out, guns out, and here in Vegas, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's the intimidation factor. Yeah, exactly. That, that Graham brings. I mean, I, I know I would be intimidated by someone who is tatted up like that. Yeah, <laughs> maybe um, a little bit. So, so Ryan Lee here, our Rebel player, when I ran New Orleans, uh, he, was my, he was my dark horse pick for the thing because he's a madman, and I love him because he brought a snail tank with Brevis inside. Oh, wow. And I just wanted to see it go all the way. It didn't do particularly well, but I wanted to see it work. I believed. Yeah, there is. Sorry, Chuck. There is a naked shooting wookie in Graham's list that I don't think made it into the bot. You're right about that. I think I may have missed a line in the copy-paste. But yeah, it is it is a, a shooting Wookiee with a long gun. Yep. Now I've never seen the long gun on the table. But the long gun I believe is range four double black suppressive. Suppressive, yeah. Yeah, so that could be an issue for rebels. But uh, Wookiees, yeah, Wookiees have indomitable. And because there's there's I mean we you're gonna we're probably gonna have turn the tide pop up yeah. and that's a little bit of suppression control but he's only rocking Shriv as a field commander so suppression especially if Shriv goes flying forward suppression could be an issue because he is running five naked cores um, yeah and, so. and Shriv is the only commander it's a field commander list yeah so if Shriv uh, has to fly away or uh, I guess drive away from the the uh, central position in the army which yeah. could be possible danger close danger close often causes you to split a little bit because you're trying to um, you're trying to take over one side of the board generally and trying to turn it into a short short edge battle. Right. Generally speaking, but if that Shriv bus drives away, that could be a big problem for your courage bubble. Right. Right. So for the people asking about the the both both players have two sh two melee wookies with uh, battle shields. A Republic player, uh, Graham has a shooty wookie with a long gun. Ryan just has a shooty wookie with no heavy. Just three right. Wookiees. So there's three Wookiees. Yeah. Yeah, so it is it is Wookiees everywhere for Rebels and for the Republic. It's uh, a Wookiee heavy game. Yeah. It's ma everybody both sides taking max Wookiees. Almost max Wookiees. Almost max Wookiees. Yeah, one side one side has max Wookiees, the other side has almost max Wookiees. Because he made a room for that, that second bus. Technically, we could get a couple more, one more Wookiee. We could drop Yoda and get a Chieftain for just Wookiee Madness 2022. But I think Yoda's probably the better call here. So just for folks' reference, uh, the Rebels uh, are deploying on the bottom right side of the screen. And the Republic is deploying on the upper left side of the screen, just so that people know. And uh, Graham is red. He's Re Re Republic. Ryan is blue. He's Rebels. And the objective today, sabotage the evaporators, danger close, and rapid reinforcements are the uh, battle cards for your game. Game one today, this morning, out of Las Vegas, Nevada, here at LVO 2022. Yeah. I, I don't remember if a seven act uh, made it through. Uh, Cass Lassie with a seven activation list made it through. Wow. What was yeah. he running? Um, it's, I mean... I want to say it's like a Yoda kind of gunliney list, okay. and it's just where he took all the all the heavies, and so you make you make, and it's got Overwatch and all that stuff, and it's it kind of feels like the old Rex Star kind of standby sharing oh, shenanigans. Oh, so it's phase. like a Yoda, it's like a Yoda Padme phase two. Uh, yeah, so I I think that's that's a lot of it, and that way you've really got some oomph when you're sharing those tokens. You're not just fire supporting with you know little pools of ten black dice. But you, but you've got some heavies in there to, to really pack a punch and, Definitely, to make, and chew to out people. Just make that ceiling really high. So, I can be they can be really spooky to, to play against. Yeah, and plus, like with the the token sharing from Yoda and the uh, the standby sharing, of yeah. course, from Padme and Yoda, that can get really bad if you're. It's like I have seven activations, but it feels like I have nine. Yeah, because I'm shooting twice with a couple of them, and they're all good activations. Right, like, they're no, all really good activations. Bad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Colkey, the painting rules for the tournament are three, it's FLG, so it's three colors, um, three color minimum, but almost all, like, my army was probably one of the worst painted armies I've seen here today. Oh, no. A lot of people have done it. No, I'm not a good painter. Everyone knows this. Okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, most, a lot of the armies have looked really, really good this weekend. Absolutely. 
Yeah. We've had I've heard multiple people come by and compliment so, like, the Legion like community. Mountain. Yeah. And not just on the not not just on the units being painted, but the terrain being yeah. painted. And we have some of the best looking boards, I think, in the whole convention. Oh, hundred percent. I, I would absolutely say that. And I, I think, you know, as someone who gets around a, a lot of these events, we regularly have the best boards at the convention. I know New, New Orleans, like Sigmar had some cool stuff. 40K had a lot of, because of the sheer, and I understand the sheer amount of terrain and tables they have to produce. There's a lot of cookie cutter stuff. Yeah. And the rules, the rules on the balance for, for deployments have a lot of that. But man, our, our tables just pop. They really do. Oh, and we've got a bunch of tables from, from Atlantic City, from Nick, who always does a great job. Um, there's a, a bunch, the community from really all over the country really came together and, uh, and made, this, made this awesome. Yeah, not just, not just on the terrain side of things, but on the judging side of things. We have people from all over the country yep. judging here. We've got a lot of folks from the California area. We've got folks from, from uh, the East Coast. we got uh, yourself. Yeah. Coming out here and p playing the role of judge yesterday. No, I, I, no, I competed yesterday and I you scrubbed out and oh, that's, that's why I'm here. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I remember. I thought you were Way judging. to put salt in the wound, David. I'm sorry. Wait. Oh, thank you. Thank I'm you so, for having me. I'm I see so, how it so, is. You know what? I, <laughs> come on, Ryan. <laughs> you know I love you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see what Big King Nasty is saying in the chat, I think it helps that Star Wars in general has such a broad expanse of yeah. lore and inspiration and that Star Wars and Star Wars always looks good. Yeah, the aesthetic is great. Yeah. But not just that, it's also the love for the hobby and the love for like I love this I love this fantasy or, or sci fi fantasy and I like to express my love for that story and for the characters right. through my art. You know, and that's really what's coming through here. Uh, so, Kolki, I don't know how they chose to, to rule buses on what they can and cannot go over and what's multiple pieces of terrain and what's not. That's something that the players have to... And I did watch them discuss, but we were getting audio stuff set up, so I didn't get to hear what they talked about. Yeah, we were just um, we were finishing up with our setup to make sure that the stream was was working for y'all. So, but they had, they did do some, some pre-bus measuring as anyone who's bringing a heavy... Like when I'm playing double T-47, I will find the most rickety pieces of terrain on whatever table I'm playing and do a couple quick balance tests, yeah. see where I can land, see where I can't before of the course. game starts. Of course, you got to do that. It's yeah. just, uh, just being a conscientious player. I'd be interested to see if that, that rock formation, the kind of the archway, I'd be very interested to see if the bus can either go under and or over it. Yeah, I'm also curious. I would think it could go under. Um, so, but we'll, uh, we'll hopefully find find that out um can i say who they're holding i'm sure they're holding uh uh once they once we get deployment i'll go figure that out for you it guys it looks like graham might be holding uh clones yeah it's possible give me just one second i'll go find out for you yeah thanks all right well just to remind everybody in about 30 minutes we're going to do a giveaway on stream and uh it looks like our lag issues have been basically resolved um, I don't see any lag in the chat or delay, so I'm like super stoked about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our player, I'm oh, sorry. Go, go ahead. No, go ahead, please. Our players have elected to be boring yeah. uh, and put one Rebel Trooper squad and one Phase One. Oh, squad so no rapid rab reinforcing Wookies. No rapid reinforcing nothing? Wookies. Okay, nothing at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! <laughs> We are just in shit talking range for the players. Yeah, we are. We are like. We are like. Right. We're about what? We're about maybe ten feet. Yeah, ten feet away. So yeah, we're about ten feet away. We'll, we'll get the. Uh, we'll get the the golf clap. You know, the, the golf uh, announcer voices for tomorrow. Yeah, we'll when, the, when the hype be. gets real. But yeah, today we're just gonna we're just gonna be loud and be and be happy. Yeah. <laughs> and have a great time watching watching and casting a game of Legion. I think both players are almost deployed. Yep, it looks like it. When they're, I went over, I think they had what? Yeah, when I was over there, one deployment each left. Yeah, they're validating their order token pool just to make so. sure that it doesn't feel bad. Right? <laughs> no, I mean, it, I always do that too. Like when I'm when I'm going through stuff, I'm always putting stuff in my order pool. They actually have a command card down. It looks like Luminous from Graham. Luminous beings are we, and uh, I don't know. I don't know what the CC from uh, from uh, Ryan is currently. We'll go probably ahead find that out momentarily. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the overhead view. 
So unfortunately, not a whole lot yet to see on the overhead since the armies have just started right. out. But I gotta say, wow, that that red bus is super close to the army of of uh, Graham. That's that's da danger close, man. That is danger close, right? The there. danger is indeed close. Yeah, let's see if we can get another angle on that bus from our from our uh, uh, our ATEM camera. Let's see if we can get an angle here. I don't know if we have one. I guess I guess number four yeah. here might be a good angle. That's that bus is popping a wheelie. It really is. <laughs> Yeah, that bus is awesome. It's just popping a wheelie up there on that. It's got also it's a Christmas bus because it has a Christmas tree, yes, tree it does. strapped to the top. That's amazing. So beautiful view, I think, of the table from this angle, and you can yeah. see both buses there. You got the red one on the right, the gray one on the left. You can see yeah, some really, naked rebels here. Really trying to do a double envelope with these with these buses hitting one from either side. Um, I <laughs> withhold strategy questions since they can hear y'all. Eh, they, they don't always hear us. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if anyone takes strategy advice from me, I went one and two yesterday. So take that yeah, as what yeah, it take, is. Yeah, take that for what it is. Yeah, take that with a grain of salt because, you know, it's not uh, <laughs> not necessarily the best advice. Gray has R2 again. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure Gray does have R2. Give, okay, so we have a redemption in the chat. What's what's some pro tips that we can give the chat? We we're owe, we owe the chat one pro tip. Oh, one pro tip. Yeah, so so, so that's what that's what the the redeems are. Give me a legion pro tip. Uh, legion pro tip. Um, yeah. Water bottles are your best friend. Yeah, absolutely. Stay so, hydrated. It'll make your brain go you know go to crap slower. Yeah, my best my best experience for from that was uh, at Gen Con after going through like four games. <laughs> I was so I was so burned out, and but but yeah, I had, yeah I had, you were. But I had some Gatorade, and I turned it around, and I won the tournament. Yes, you did. And I partially credit, I partially credit John Bushman for giving me a Gatorade to help me out. <laughs> I remember. I think it was after day two. I don't think it was after day three. The Stabcast invited kind of everybody to a little pizza parlor yeah. afterwards, and I think. I think David, you had just played the sweatiest game of your life. Yes, I had. And we're all, you know, drinking beer, eating pizza, having a good time, mingling. I expected like ten people to show up. We had like two or three tables. Yeah, we had um, a lot. We had like twenty. And David's just sitting there in the middle of a bunch of very lovely, charismatic people, just gripping the table, just letting it decompress and roll off him. Yeah, I think I was for about the first fifteen minutes. Yeah, I think I was just holding onto the table <laughs> because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm three zero. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, was, it was a, it was a fun night. Yeah, I want to I want to replicate that again sometime. So absolutely, you know, when, when I'm not streaming, I want to go back to playing. You're I'm not playing. allowed to do that. I know I'm not allowed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. It was that's the problem when you get into the streaming game, is that you uh, you don't play anymore. Now look at this lovely dice organization. <laughs> we got some rolls that, here actually. Let's take a look. There's a, there's a game going on. There is. I thought a game we were going just on. talking about. <laughs> There is a game going on. Let's figure this out. I didn't see what that roll was, but it looks like it was a attack roll of some type. Defense dice were not picked up, so I'm assuming it was it was Bubkiss. Yeah, it was no uh, no effect on the enemy. Oh. Now we've got a combination of red and white defense dice for uh, for guardian probably. We got Chewy maybe taking some guardian. Are they hits. are they using the clear dice? Is that why we can't see it? No. Okay. There's one. There's one defensive roll. It looks like Chewy took it up. Yeah, it looked like there was a combination of some some guardian and some uh, some guardian, some maybe some yeah. clone saving. That's unfortunate. Let me let me see if I can fix that to get the dice more visible. And guys, this may be something we have to, to we'll be able to do some of it on the fly here, but some of it is gonna have to be in between rounds. Star Wars players, two hours for me. There's our guest appearance from Brendan France. <laughs> it's like our mic is picking up. All right, that should help. Next time we'll find out next time they roll dice. Right. <laughs> we need to turn the similarity down so we can actually see the dice being rolled on the table. Oh, 
Looks like our clones have made a nice, uh, a nice little fortress that they're gonna dare, dare Wookies to try to come into. Um, but buses are pretty good at breaking fortresses. Yeah, and I'm wondering, um, I'm wondering how each player is gonna get to their evaporators. And we can, we can sort of point out the. Uh, we can point out the um, the evaporator positions, as you can see, pl placing wounds there on the left side. Right. So there's two evaporators on the left side, uh, one on the central left, I guess, and one in the uh, kinda upper, up on the plateau, kind of yeah. upper left, yeah. And then we have one evaporator over here in the right side on the lower right, and then a third evaporator in the lower middle on the right side there. Guys, I just want y'all in, in TV land to appreciate something. David just did that entire thing. We need to get this man a, a telestrator that he can draw on, pointing at everything, hoping you guys can see where his finger points. It, yeah. was, it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Well, it helps me. It, it actually helps me describe it. Yeah. It helps me describe it when I do that. Obviously, no one at home can see me do that. Uh, but I do need to get a telestrator. No, I feel you. I talk with my hands constantly, too. So. Yeah. I just needed to make sure that I got that out there. Okay, we just have the gray bus moving across some of those... those uh, big plants there trying to deliver R2 into the enemy deployment zone and he's uh, again do, having to run over the uh, the terrain. The beautiful and, terrain. Yes, the beautiful terrain. He has to run over it, balance on it, which is what you do with a bus. Looking for range with a heavy laser, can't find it. Yeah, yeah. and that's that's one of the interesting things with, with a, I mean, it is 11 activations, but this Ryan's list does not have a ton of orders or order controls if a bus comes out at the wrong time it can uh it can get picked on pretty pretty easily pretty early um you hope that you kind of your chaff core at least turn one come come out of the bag first right um because i think it's more important to get orders on the wookies than less than the buses so the wookies don't have to waste a turn especially on a deployment like danger close um there's the dice okay so we got some uh some red red dice. I think that was an orthodox tactician being activated That's there. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. So I think he rem I think he remembered to do tactician at the end of his activation. So. Are there any clones down along the bottom? Not that I can detect. I think R two might be free and clear, which I think is going to be a problem for uh, for Graham here. But you know he's got. There's a lot of game left. And oh there's sure. There's a lot of Wookies. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna see what happens with his R2. I'm pretty sure Graham is gonna send some Wookies down there to close in on him and see what he can do. Now I don't. I think this might be the long gunner that's moving because it's got that. It's got the Wookie with the pointing hand. Yeah. Which I believe is the ranged Wookie leader. I guess it could technically be both. Because I, I, don't, I don't remember exactly how the kit was. Because I have the kit. I haven't put mine together yet. Okay, so, so you don't know. Yeah. I haven't even gotten the new, my new Wookiees yet. You know, as, a, as the mono Rebel player, uh, they just came in last week from a... And I knew I wasn't going to have time to get them built and painted before before LVO. Looks um, so like Graham is getting a whole big dice pool together. Yeah, uh, I, I think, think it, this is our... Sh like, you're right, our shooty Wookiees. Um... We're gonna find out here in just a moment. Yeah, shooting Wookies. Looks like three. Yeah, it looks like three there. Spending some main tokens. And whoa, so triple block. Triple block. blocks. Wow, hardcore. I think that was the. Uh, I think was that at Rebels or was that at a bus? Um, I think that was at some Rebels. Oh, that was at some Rebels. Because it was. Yeah. Uh, it was. Uh, they were talking about it being expressive. Expression okay. token comes down on those Rebels, kind of poking out, hiding behind some carnivorous flora. Um, some carnivorous so flora. I didn't, I didn't, because I flew, uh, I didn't have a chance to bring a tasty beverage. Usually no. I only get to bring tasty beverages when I drive, um, where I can get some, some nice moonshine or some bourbon or... Yeah, or uh, something. Yeah. Um, so, but uh, Adepticon, I'll be driving, so uh, we will have some, some fun on hand. You want to give me camera two? Let's press the two, the big two. Awesome sauce. Just want to take a look at the uh, the movement here. I think yeah. these are some Wookies that are moving into battle here. It's actually some Wookie on Wookie action, maybe. From Graham. 
Yeah, some, uh, I forget who it was in the chat was asking that we, we rarely see players uh, take Danger Close. Um, uh, I play Danger Close personally quite a bit. Uh, I, I play a lot of Op Luke. Op Luke's really good. It's uh, definitely a Wookiee charge. This is a Wookiee charge with a battle shield in, in full on offense mode, it looks like. Yep. So, um, five at least? Yeah, it looks, looks, like, looks like four. I think the two dice maybe pulled off to the side were, were blanks that they just kind of scooted. We'll see how many defense dice come down here. Yeah. Quite a lot. Uh, that was at least six. Yeah, that's uh, that looks like a whole lot of blanks too. Yeah. So going from three from three blocks on rebels to three blanks on yeah on your Wookiee warriors, and he's going to remove a couple Wookies there. But that's the thing with Danger Close is we can get these big Wookiee charges pretty much straight away. Yeah, it's you're already you're already diving into the action immediately. And I think that's really that, that was uh, a positive development for Graham there. Yeah, and I don't think we'll need the. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we're going to need the full full two and a half hours uh, for for this match uh, one way or the other. Possibly not. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're right about that. It's uh, I don't know if we're going to need the full time. On, on Danger Close, Wookiees are going to run at each other, and uh, something is going to happen. Yeah, something. Something hopefully positive, because <laughs> that's the thing, right? With Ryan's list, like in, in battle, mm -hmm. you've only got the Wookies, and so what happens when you lose your Wookies? Like, right? You just—I mean, there's there's still five Rebel Troopers. That's twenty black dice that can run around and and, and dome stuff, but it you know it's not what you want. No, it's just can your can your your Wookie tide get you a big enough momentum swing? For the for the three die bus guns and and rebels to to kind of plink away and finish. So here we got bus number two finishing its extreme aerial maneuver. Yep, coming um, down from that wheelie. And here's the cool thing about where this bus is. And he's, if he goes again, yeah, I like this. Doing a reposition, he's gonna just provide a huge LOS line of sight blocker for the rest of his army on that flank to kind of pop up behind. Everyone's going to have to, that big clone ball is now going to have to wheel around the bus if he wants to find the soft underbelly. This bus also has a comms jammer on it. Yes. So this is kind of, it's kind of a nice thing that the bus wants to do, that to, to, comp, to jam out all those uh, clone art, clone people. All those clone people. All the clone people. All the clone people. <laughs> <laughs> to, jam, to jam out all the clone army. But, um, but it still makes it hyper vulnerable to say a Yoda. I think Yoda could come up and smack it, you know. Yeah. Chewie can Chewie can shoot it, you know. Oh, is this is this displacement time? Oh, it's a ton of displacement. It's a ton actually. of displacement. Yeah. Triple move the bus to just create a huge displacement. Uh, yeah, Koki, that is a indeed a Christmas tree on the uh, on the bus. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so the bus is painted with red and green stripes, and it's got a Christmas tree trapped at the top. <laughs> yeah, his, his snail tank was also a Christmas snail tank. And honestly, I want him. I, I asked him to get another snail and or an AAT and paint it as Batman, because it looks very much like Robin. Yeah, so there's um, a great shot of it right there. Yeah. And you can see the now, almost the entire clone army is being displaced by this bus. And he's also going to have to choose a unit to roll to roll reckless. Roll on. shenanigans on, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to choose Yoda or if he's going to choose some other unit. Uh, I don't think. I mean, yeah, if you can sneak a wound in on Yoda, that's great. But I think you want to roll as many dice as possible. Yeah, um, that, that's here, the key to reckless driver. Uh, he just threw his defense saves for uh, his unorthodox. It looked like. Yeah, uh, so that was an orthodox Ryan tactician passing out some some aim tokens. We'll see what happens with the orthodox tactician here. Yeah. Or, um, reckless driver, I mean. Oh Let's, gosh. Oh um, gosh, it's a lot. And yes. there's four. Yep. There because four it's blanks. four phase ones, four blanks. Nothing happens. Yeah, nothing happens. Um, that was really fuzzy for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's the camera like trying to autofocus on dice in people's hands. And, yeah, it must be it. Um, so we've we've been given some channel points for a a legion hot a take. A legion hot take. Oh man. Oh gosh. Uh, I have one easily. Okay. I, yes. I don't know if this is a hot take. I think magna guards need to be nerfed. That is a crazy hot take. You're right. Yeah, I think magna guards need to be nerfed. Uh, Elaborate, please. Okay. So, t talk about a unit that does every job in the game well. 
okay? You got a unit that shoots well at range two, it can yeah. blink at range four, it's got impact, it's got free tokens, yeah. it's got two training slots, it's got unhindered baked in, I, I, and it's got guardian on a commander. I tend so. to agree. Um, the, the silliest thing that I actually just want them to errata is I heard you can get your T-Series killed, promote your, uh, your, your Magnus, and then it does, like, Retinue doesn't require another, so they are a commander and they are range two of themselves. Oh, it can Retinue itself. Which I think is, is probably problematic. Yeah, just a little bit problematic. Um, so this looks like, uh, what is this? What shoots, it, what shoots that? Uh, the, uh, the gun on top of the bus, right? Is that, but it's a lot more than just the gun oh, on top of the bus. It is, absolutely, you're right. I didn't see the second set of dice. It's Graham rolling, though. Uh, this is Battleship Wookiees. This is, ba is it Battleship Wookiees, or is it fire-supported uh, shooty Wookiees? Uh, I don't know where the red dice are coming from if it's a, a fire support. So that's, that's two red dice from the battle shield and a bunch of blacks and whites for the, the and converting so much to crit. He's converting so many crits here. Uh, like, Chewy with fire support. It was Chewy with it. fire support. Thanks, there we chat. go. You guys Thank are you, chat. Than we are. You guys know. <laughs> you guys know a lot better than this. So this is the bus rolling saves, and it's going to roll that's, two. Yeah, that's not bad. You, yeah, you one's, one's going to get pierced. Yeah, but that's the math. Like six dice, two saves on white. Yeah. Um, on that that surge. So. That's one of his best anti-vehicle shots. Yeah. Is the shoe fire support and Chewy? Yeah, since they like they weren't taking bowcasters, which is surprising. Like. The Chewie's going to actually do a lot, probably a lot of work on these buses. Yeah, you know what I haven't seen? I haven't seen a lot of Bowcaster Wookiees today. I really, or today, or um, yesterday. I still think... They were if, mostly Battle Shield or um, shooting. I still think the Bowcaster is the better option, just because it lets you handle uh, so many other types of lists. Oh, absolutely. Um, now, so the other interesting thing, looking at this Reckless Driver position, I don't think a lot of these Phase 1s have acted yet. Right. That bus plowed through, he re-cohered behind him. We gotta remember these buses do have weak point rear, and they can go down relatively quickly if you concentrate on them. Yeah, I mean that uh, bus—the bus just took five wounds there. No, four, four wounds. It took four wounds. It took four wounds. And now there, there's so a bunch already, of clones behind it. So yeah. it's already at half health. So, so it's gonna have to. It may end up rolling a bunch of saves and may end up uh, uh, being destroyed. It's totally possible. Right, here comes some Rebel Trooper. Some Rebel Trooper right, no, that's, no, a, is, that's a lot of paint for Rebel no, Trooper. No, that's actually phase... Are these, that's phase ones. Yeah, those are phase ones. Those are phase one shooting again. He's just rolling for crits. And impact two, causing three saves on the bus. Another two wounds Another being two delivered wounds to the through. bus. Youch. This. Now, once again, if this bus goes down, it's not the end of the world. Ryan still has... Like, he's starting with a three-act advantage, and he got that massive charge early on. And that's the bus uh, damage The bus roll. is damaged, so it is immobilized. Right, um, it's got the um, the disabled token, which means it has to spend uh, two, two actions. Two, yeah, but I also think it's not a reckless bus, so that's the, like, the easiest thing. Yeah, it's, it's, like the wor it's like the weakest of the damage types right. for the reckless driver uh, AA5. Well, we're just 10 minutes away from a giveaway. Yeah, we'll, we'll start the giveaway around 10 a.m. and then let it run, use it for, you know, that's an hour-ish. Right. So. so I thought it was interesting. I looked at the, some of the stats from yesterday. Yeah. And um, I, some vast percentage of all the Rebel lists that advanced had Operative Luke. Well, it's because Operative Luke is really good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's 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 one reason, I guess. Yeah. But I, so, so I was actually some of the, you know. It makes me want to try Flyboys again. A lot of Flyboys made it. I played it this weekend. Yeah. Um, and it's a like, Op Luke with uh, seize the initiative for Han Zero is so good. Oh, it's so good. Um, uh, zero pip Luke, so nice, and then followed up by a Han shot. Yeah. You know, you have a lot of damage there. Plus, like Luke can even Luke can even disengage for the Han shot. Here's a battle shield wookie, I believe. Yeah, that looks like a battle shield wookie die pool. Yeah, so when the bot the bot will uh, prompt the chat to enter the giveaway. Yeah, flyboys is a lot of fun. Um, 
obviously I didn't do too terribly well with it, but it wasn't. It was not their fault. Like Han and Luke did, put did an amazing amount of work. Uh, it is a tough meta for them. Uh, looks like Graham taking some some four big wounds on his Wookies. Um, his Wookiee saves are definitely not keeping pace with with Ryan's, but they're about what no, definitely you'd not. expect from Wookiee saves. Yeah, so. I, the Wookiees just don't save, and tempo is so important in a Wookiee yeah. versus Wookiee match. If you can go first twice. Yep. Yeah, I'm curious how Bistan did, because I was if I could fit Han, Operative Luke, Bistan, and two Wookiees in a list, I'd be feeling pretty good about myself. I don't know that you can do it with two Wookiees. Maybe one Wookiee? Um, I did it with Bistan Double Sniper, but okay. I also had an X-34. Oh, yeah. So you can throw you some points around Peter. other places, because I needed some high dice volume did to you, be able did, to deal with droids. Did you do the Shriv Lance Peter? No, I did a Hot Shot. A I hot did shot just Lance a Gunboat. Um, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it, the Lance Peter still has pretty decent offense. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know? Um, you can still kill stuff with it. Yeah, I was regularly with, with an aim token getting, you know, six to eight hits. Um, and that that, low, that uh, sharpshooter one on it, just it's there to chew through Wookiees and not let them get their suppression cover that they rely on. Yep. So you see some of uh, Graham's Wookiees moving, one of the Battle Shield Wookiees he's yep. got moving up to, to, to do the Vaporator. Yeah, and I think that's gonna be that's gonna be the, the trick. I don't think you want Wookiees, at least in this in this like you were talking about tempo game, on VAPs. I think both players have their minimum core requirements that they want to be hitting VAPs. And Ryan, I think, is trying to just get up in his grill and, and be as disruptive as possible to that Vaporator play. But Yoda's got a got a cool workaround because if you you can if you've got the dudes still alive. You can guidance to, to get VAPs up really, really quick, and your opponent can't do as many, like, sneaky, wait for something to activate, slide in, tap a VAP, because uh, Yoda can come behind and, and guidance to, to hit it again, and you can hit it two times in a turn. Um, Cast K2, R2, Wookiee, Bistan. Yeah, I totally, I totally dig that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so that's, that's the kind of list I would, I would probably want to run. If I was uh, playing Rebels again, yeah, because I think like I think the bus is still good. I think that it, it's not it's not the monster it used to be, but it's still good. Yeah, no, it is still very good. It just fits a very different role. Yeah, it's a, it's more strictly a support now, which is what it kind of always should kind have. of always should have been. Although <laughs> I, I can say the uh, the hot shot with the big gun on a bus as a as a downrange artillery piece, you've got an unorthodox when it activates, so it's always going to have one, if not two aim tokens. Uh, six dice, six black dice, sharpshooter one, two aims, isn't a terrible little field command, you know, field area denial piece. Yeah, so we see some rapid reinforcing phase ones dropping yep. in. Yep, dropping in, go help out with, with Vaporator Town. Yeah, let's free up those battle shields to do some more, to do some more melee, some more uh, things they want to do. I don't know what's going on. It's been two whole minutes, and we haven't had a giant Wookiee dice pool turn at each I know. Other. Oh, my god! It's not what I signed up for. Me either. <laughs> you know what I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen a ton of this weekend? I have not seen the monster, the T-47, float. Yeah, around. I haven't seen any t 47 I think there's a couple, but, like, I was this close to bringing double T-47 just because I don't, like, I think it's good just against everything uh, i think maybe people were spooked by ion spiders and magna rockets yeah um maybe and i like that's for good reason because there's a lot of that this weekend um t47 it's it's moderately affected by the ionization i mean it's also like who wants to play who wants to play 140 point heavy that just gets ionized by ion spiders right Right. That, by 70 point ion right. spiders so, there, so i mean i think i think we can credit so a couple things happened right so there was the ion spiders that happened, and so a lot of people shifted out of out right. of vehicles again because people are like, "Well, ion spiders will just dominate me." And then you had a lot of people saying, "Like, well, what's the next best archetype?" And a lot of people thought, "Okay, well, they'll do a force user." Yeah. So like, people, I was playing, not, like, people playing Yoda, people playing Vader. Two thirds of the list this weekend across all factions have a force user in it, which yeah. I would not have predicted coming into no, this. No, me either. 
But I guess it makes sense because of the of the release of Yoda. Yep. Makes sense because of Vader's buffing. Yep. Makes sense because Operative Luke is a really strong force user. Count Dooku is a really strong force user. Maul, I cannot forget Maul. Yeah. No way. <laughs> Maul's potentially for his he's not the best force user. For his cost, he might be the best force user. Yeah. Um and here's some rapid reinforcing rebels. Getting getting aggressive. Getting, I like it. Oh, he's thinking about he's aggressive. thinking about it. Yeah. He's like, do I really put these down in the face of these battle shields? <laughs> if it pulls them off the VAP, I mean... Yeah, it could. Everything over there is activated, so... The other thing you got to worry about is it's pretty close to a table edge. Yeah, so, and also, like, not close to Shriv. Because Shriv is in the gray bus back there in the background. Right. But I do, I do kind of like the idea of... I think I think Ryan's whole strategy here is threat saturation. Right. You can't shoot everything to panic it off the board. Like and it, Graham is only running eight acts. Um, now, granted, it's going to feel like nine. It's going to feel like ten with Yoda. Um, but you can't shoot all the things, and so maybe he's just like, I can sit my rebel troopers down here and they can hide because you've got Wookies and bigger problems to deal with. One hundred and ten percent the truth. And I think that is going to be the round. Looks like we're grabbing command tokens, so... Let's take a look at the overhead just to get a little sense of the board again. Oops. So the Rebels, from their original start positions, have pushed up pretty aggressively here yep. into the army of Graham Hamner, our GAR player. Once again, the objective, sabotage the Evaporators. Danger close. Rapid reinforcements are battle cards. So, uh, so someone was asking earlier, like, why is why are the rebels getting so aggressive? It, you know, you're blue. It's Vaps. Um, I think a it's danger close, and the Yoda windup is real. Yeah. If you can constantly disrupt the Yoda windup, where he's got he's got all the things to deal with, and you can't just let Yoda hammer on on one point over and over and over again. Um, I believe the bus has six. Yeah, yes. Because um, the, the interesting thing is, I remember when Yoda was previewed and, and we, we got to see him for the first time, we're like, oh, it's backwards, pull the strings, where Yoda's going to let you move, but he's not going to let you attack, and he'll let right. you do all the cool, unique stuff. But Wookiees skirt that so well with, with access to charge that you're like, yeah, I'm not taking the attack action, but I've got a nested attack action hidden in my charge. Um, that he really did become much more of a offensive powerhouse than I was uh, than I was really expecting. All right, it is it is uh, now 10 o'clock, so we are going to open the giveaway. So I'm going to take care of that right now. We're going to do that right after they play their command cards. I believe that is there is no try versus push. Yep. Is what the command cards that are being played are. So I'm going to go ahead and take a second and just open the giveaway here. Uh, they have a roll off for priority. And it looks like it looks like blue got the roll off our red rebel player. Uh, so we'll have some instructions for the giveaway in here in just a second, guys. So don't start spamming just yet. Yeah, it actually, you can spam if you want to spam and keep spamming until Mubot takes your entry. You can go ahead and just type it in. But yeah, hashtag giveaway. We'll leave it up for an hour. It'll get your name in the drawing. Good luck, everyone. Yep. Um, so I got to ask, is, is each of these giveaways, is everyone get everything They in get this? the entire bag, yes. Holy cow. Yeah. That's a killer giveaway, then. It is a killer giveaway. So, yeah, just to, to kind of refresh, you get some deployment markers, you get some victory tokens, and you get some objective tokens from 6-Up Supply. You get some LTC, Legion Tournament Circuit, card sleeves, a set of the Legion Discord tokens, a full set, uh, a silhouette, a Grogu 3D print, and six attack dice in the color of red, and six white attack dice. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, provided by Atomic Mass Games. Uh, so I think the only sponsor I didn't shout out is uh, six up, or, uh, Dark Fire Designs, so who did the Grogu Designs. print. Yeah. He makes some cool stuff. Um, if you're into the, the 3D printing uh, universe, do we have, to be mean to Cole Key, we worldwide shipping this stuff? Yeah, 
Yeah, All right. I'm willing to. I'm willing to Ooh. work with you if you're in Australia. <laughs> 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 so we're just we're just um, we're gonna take entries and we're gonna do the drawing at uh, at uh, let's say 10:55. Let's do that. I looks like we got some Wookies uh, surrounding a bus. It's kind of hard to tell. Can we see that red bus from the other side on any of our other cameras? Doesn't really look like it. No, that, that's Yoda into the bus. Oh, that's Yoda I'm fairly that, certain. Okay. So I, yeah, three. I saw I saw models on the far side of the bus. Impact three, Pierce two. Seems good. I'm fairly sure that. Uh, uh, we do not have a stream delay, guys. Uh, at least not an intentional one. No, we don't have a stream delay anymore. We fixed it. We're live. We are we are live in low latency. <laughs> so glad to have so many people, you know, in chat today hitting up the giveaway. Um, some names I don't know. A bunch of names I do. It's good to see all y'all. We just saw the red bus get removed. Yeah, yeah, Yoda's Yoda's pretty good at that. Yeah. Uh, but that was a really aggressive push with that bus. Like it, I said, a lot of stuff got behind it. It really um, was. That weak point can can uh, can do a number on you. Feels bad to lose your bus at the top of two. Oh, that was the R2 bus? Oh no, you see it. You see R2 on the left there. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's the R2 bus. Well, I mean, uh, where R2's at, he's got to turn his entire army around away from Vaporators. And I think that's what he's about to do. So... I think he's maybe looking for a shot on R2 here, or he's... Because he's moving his, uh, his other Wookiees now. I think that's the Long Gunners. See what kind of R2 magic can... Yep. Yeah, it points to R2 and says, I'm shooting that guy. R2 on three wounds remaining. I think those uh, shooting wookies actually have Relentless right now. Since yeah. they have the face-up token from There Is No Try. Yep. So those are Relentless shooting wookies. They could actually double move if they wanted to and get the Relentless open shot. But uh, there, there they go. Maybe. Well, I don't know if he's maybe thinking about moving it. Okay. No, he's forward cohering so they can see around the... Uh... Oh, no, maybe he's shooting into other Wookiees? They're... Oh, they're talking about what the, the line of sight is yeah. from Wookiee to Wookiee. So that's that's the thing. You take your Wookiee long gun shot, and we talk, we've been talking about how Wookiee v. Wookiee is so, so momentum dependent. Yeah. Do really you take a big die pool and waste it on R2 who you can mop, potentially mop up later? Yep. Or do you put a, your, one of your biggest die pools into other Wookiees to try to stem the tide? R2 has, I don't think R2 has a suppression. And even if he did, what, what could he... He, sh he shouldn't because the bus blew up, so he should just have a wound when he, when he plops out, right? Yeah, I don't think he would get suppression from, from the bus being uh, blowing up. I think that's a, that's a change. They, they've changed those... those those rules several times. Um, so this is, I believe, this is the Wookies, the, the long gun, Wookies. long gun Wookie. Yeah. He only came up with two hits there, I think. R two double blanking. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think the reason they made the change to it, I did. It did once upon a time it used to be. Oh, split and fire with the suppressive gun. Yeah, okay. split the suppressive gun into the other Wookies. Yeah, I like that. I actually do. Remember That's that actually, that. I dig that. Yeah, because again, Indomitable is reliable. Yeah. But only so reliable, right? And Sometimes you, you can strip an action. And you don't want to double suppress R two because that's now two turns. Yeah, you it's shoot never, him. it's never good to double suppress R two D two. Um, and I think he just put one, uh, one wound into the melee Wookies over there. So. R2 has one suppression.
Oh no! Did he did he reverse that? No, I don't. I don't think so. Did he just drop two suppression on R two? Oh, okay. Maybe he did. That's so maybe he did. Yeah. That's interesting. If that's the way they want to. I mean, with that, the positioning from at least what we can see here. Oh, he just he just dropped the suppression on it. That's why he dropped two suppression because it was suppression from blowing oh, gotcha. up and suppression from being shot. Okay, I don't know how to play this game. It's fine. My RG's in my room. Yeah. <laughs> No, but it's hard. It's, it's hard. I mean, we're we're just interpreting, right? Right. We're we're interpreting what we see. We're, we're not exactly right in the face of the players. I mean, we can ask them questions, but we try not to. We try to do that as minimally as possible, so we don't want to interfere with their game. Well, David doesn't want to interfere with the game. I love interfering with stuff. I know you you but. you have a different opinion about <laughs> about this sort of thing than I do. I'm an agent of chaos. Yeah. Um. So what we're if we've got a if we've got some new people in the chat today, what were some of the highlights from yesterday that they should go back and watch? What was the best game yesterday for the stream? Uh, honestly, I thought the best game yesterday was the last game. Okay. Uh, it was between uh, Separatists and Rebels, and it was a, a duel between Darth or not Darth, yes Darth Maul. Darth Maul. And uh, Operative Luke. Okay, that, those was are a, always fun. There was a duel games. between them, and there was also it, it was a, a Rebel quad hero list. So it Hell was, yeah! It was Lando, Luke. Chewie and Han versus Kalani and Maul. Okay. So I thought that was I thought that was a tight game. Yeah. And, um, you, what you saw was like how effective snipers can be if droids can't get cover. Yeah. So the droids were just these snipers were just killing like two droids at a time all the time. It was like double headshot every time. All right, looks like we're getting a little dynamic with the terrain, trying to trying to push some. Uh, They're pushing underneath. Underneath. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, we we screwed that up. You guys are right. You yeah. take a suppression, and uh, and yeah, the the VOD did cut off because of our lag issues yesterday. I'm sorry about that. But uh, if you want to know the ending, uh, the separatists did ultimately win because there was just not enough material left for the rebels to get intercepted. That's and that's the tough part with like that four hero, you know, lots of snipers to get your activations up their list against droids. You. J You've got great bullets. You just don't have a lot of them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that that like for me personally, the CIS matchup is consistently the toughest across yeah. kind of all the the archetypes that CIS yeah. can Rebels, take. Rebels, Rebels versus CIS is always the tough. The tough because one. like, loot, you don't want to spend your big die pool that is loot clearing B ones. Um, so that's some Rebel troopers yeah, shooting here. Looks like some Rebel troopers taking pot shots. Um, and one they blank makes it good. Yeah, I mean, one, anytime your little little plinky rebel troopers can push a wound through, you're you're always happy. I had some rebel troopers yesterday punch a dude back to death. It was glorious. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> that usually never goes the rebels' way. They had a box. Um, oh yeah, well, they, yeah, they they had, they had to. Do the to yeah, they had to do it. Otherwise, they were just gonna get chomped. Yeah. So they had they had to fight back. See what the players decide to do now. I mean, we offered these guys a whole six by three table, and they chose to use a third of it. Yeah. <laughs> All of the action taking place in, in one little spot. What's that line from uh, Monty Python? Not Monty Python, uh, Indiana Jones. Why did it have to be snakes? You chose poorly. <laughs> yeah, you have chosen poorly. You have chosen poorly, and then the guy like dissolves. <laughs> Did I make a huge mistake betting all my points on rebels? Good question. Uh, we'll find out. I don't think so. An orthodox tactician for one there. We will find out. I think I think rebels got the best end of the the initial Wookie bonk. Uh, but late game Yoda is late game Yoda. Um, if he can get the Wookiees, like if, if Graham can get his the Rebel Wookiees down to one and a half, two models, and Yoda can come in and, and start to really clean. Um, and if the, the the core saves can can hold better um, for for Republic, I think we we definitely still have a game here. But I definitely think it's Ryan's game to lose because I don't see Graham getting to any of Ryan's vaps. Yeah, I can't. I can't see that happening. So, I mean, 
the thing is, like, the, with the bus dead, like, this just makes Graham able to turtle. Yeah. Like, Graham can just turtle. And um, Graham has his evaporators well in hand, I think. Um, so this is now, like, Ryan has to come up with some sort of attack here. Right. And if he can't, uh, if he can't kill more points than that bus is worth, he just loses. Sure. But we, once again, we saw him get the big Wookiee hits early. Yeah. Um, and a bus is is a Wookiee and a, and a Phase One squad. So at least, yeah. And, the buses and are I not, will say, the buses are not cheap. The the rebels here because they wear battle shield and not bowcaster. There's actually not an amazing answer to just Phase Ones who are going to sit there and roll red saves. Yep. Except for this bus, which is now rolling three hits. <laughs> yep, that can do. That is a thing it can do. Well, two hits and a crit. <laughs> So we're going to spend some Yoda tokens because Yoda's hiding behind that rock over there. Yeah, there's some... That we can't see. <laughs> yeah. He has an unknown amount of tokens. And a block uh, there Makes one Graham. save. Yep. So you're just trying to plink down Yoda because Yoda's, yep. Yoda's the big juicy points yeah. points sink. And I think the... Especially if he would have still had the second bus gun. I think yep. that, that three die gun into, like, into Yoda is, is a great use of it. It doesn't have any other amazing keywords. It's got critical, so it's going to be harder to guardian off stuff of it. And just you need to constantly make Yoda make those saves. So I've seen a few. I've seen a few folks from uh, faraway places like Spain and Chile saying hello. Yeah. Hello to you too. We're glad you're here watching this event uh, from Las Vegas, Nevada. And we got Chewie moving up and shooting R two D two. As God intended. As God intended. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he can kill that little droid. Oh, a big shot there. Big for shot. Four. Is that all four? Yeah. All four, baby. Republic Chewy on the R2, and R2 makes. Oh! oh! Godlike. Pierce one <laughs> comes through. Pierce one. <laughs> but still, that I think that puts R2 on three, though, so he is in the danger zone. I, I think so. And the scary thing about getting really aggressive with R2 like that, though. No, it's just R2 on two, but R2's got four it, suppression. He it, could panic off the board. He could. I don't know that he, he's so slow, I don't know that he can. He might not, but we'll see. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> the tricky thing that with that aggressive R2 placement, though, is Incognito like doesn't care if you're the only legal target. And the way he's kind of hooked him back back there, if you can use that cliff to not be able to see anything that's not engaged in melee, uh, R2 can be pretty vulnerable. It's one of the reasons I like to put just a single fleet in all of my armies is you can range scope R2 by making sure he's the only thing in that range two bubble by backing away from stuff. Um, I think phase ones are going to go go after him now. Yep. Coming around that cliff to make sure they can't see anybody else. Yep. Fire on that droid at point blank range and see if he saves again. Yep. <laughs> Let's see what happens. There's two. And R2 is coming up double blank, and I think that's it. I think it that's a droid. toasted robot, man. Yeah. That is that is it. Off he goes. So R2, the R2 threat has been removed. Uh, if R2 had secret mission, that would have been a bounty, I believe. Ooh. A bounty for the from the uh, So for those of you that don't know, we actually have yep. a, a little bounty system at LVO. So there are certain um, if you if you do certain activities, it's like achievements in video games. Yep. Kind of. If you uh, do a certain thing, you can get a little prize. So one of those bounties was killing R2 while he had secret mission. Yeah. Uh, Griffin from Team Relentless uh, put it together, and then we had all kinds of different people sponsoring them. Yeah. Uh, which was really cool to see. My my personal favorite bounty was if it's too a little too specific, but it's a kill while punching a vehicle. Use Cassian's marksman. <laughs> because I just want to, I just love that interaction. Yeah. I just love the aimed punch that crits a vehicle. Because <laughs> Marksman works in melee. We go across the hall, borrow a power fist for a minute, and, you know, yeah, from exactly. the 40k guys. Exactly. <laughs> Graham should get that bounty. He killed my RT yesterday after secret mission. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. There you go. He probably already earned it in a different game. He might have almost earned it again. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, in all seriousness, with R2 dead, now things are even worse for Ryan. 
Uh, so we've lost a bus. Yeah. We've lost R2. He's still got a one-act lead. Once again, they're worse, generally worst activations. Um, oh, we'll, Loki's falling everywhere. Yeah. I, I, I think this game at this point for Ryan is going to be, I got I to gotta stem the tide and try to get a Rebel Trooper, stay, stay in activation up, and get a Rebel Trooper at the end of the game to run in and tap a map. Yeah, that's, um, that's going to be a very tall order with Yoda around. Yes, it, yes it is. Um, here in a few minutes, maybe at the, uh, at the end of this turn, I'll go do a, a quick Wookiee count. That would be um, super helpful. <laughs> yeah. Because he has had to put a lot of pain. That's what, it was three shots into R2. Four shots into the bus. Yeah. Uh, so that's a bunch of stuff that's not shooting Wookiees. Um, is, and is Yoda going to be able to, to put it on his back? I don't know. Um, so it's, it's going to be interesting. going to be interesting. I think I think our, that bus going down as quick as it did and, and R2 getting, a, for lack of a better term, terrain scoped is, uh, has definitely made brought brought the pendulum uh, back in Graham's favor. Yeah, quite quite so. But Ryan was up so we'll, we'll see how big the momentum shift was. There's also still that unit of Wookiees lurking up there for Ryan. Yep. Might be able to do some work with Shriv coming in here. I don't know that Shriv's going to move from that spot. He gets to deny a whole lot of cover up there. Um, he's got the, the the crit, you know, the crit one rainbow gun. Um, that's a, I actually don't hate that spot for Shriv unless you need to pull it into that valley just to block off and give some cover. Um, Rolling tactician there, or no? That was indomitable. Never mind. Yeah, these players are lucky getting to play on the stream table. It's one of our only table here at LVO that you can walk all the way around. Uh, and so, you know. Well, the exception of one side because we have some cameras. Yeah, but uh, for danger close, it's not that bad. Uh, or, or disarray. Big charge here. Yeah, big from the Wookiees. Oh, full oh. boat. <laughs> That's just brutal. Who needs aim tokens? Oh, there was one aim from Tactician. Yeah, you mean for lethal now? Oh, for lethal, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually not that's bad. That's actually not a bad roll at all. No, four? That's 50%. Or just shy, just shy of 50. Justice. Yeah, just a little bit. I've got plenty of both. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I wonder what Yoda's going to do next. Yoda's in a neat little spot there, kind of, kind of tucked in behind, uh, behind that rock, where I think he just gets to sit, play the sit and wait, come to me game. Yeah, he gets comfortable. Holding onto those clones to make sure they don't fall over. Mm -hmm. I love the teamwork from the players as they as yeah, that's, charge. That's super. <laughs> that's super uh, gracious from both of them. Yeah. And that's the that's the tricky thing with Legion is like some of the most beautiful, amazing, inspired tables are sometimes just a pain in the ass to physically the physically play handle. On. Yeah, that's right. Um, So, uh, 75 minutes left in the round. Uh, these, <laughs> I don't think these guys are going to need it. Um, yeah, I don't know if they're going to need it. 
Need to put some pennies in those bases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weighted weighted bases are, are nice. Um, good way to do it. I also would love to get some like find some magnetic paint. Yeah. Um, and then see if you could I don't know if you can find if it's strong enough to be able to put a layer of it down and then another color on top of it and still get the, the stick and then just put magnets and all and all your bases would be great. Um, as we, we got some phase ones falling off the cliff here. One of my one of my local players always when he plays VAPS always puts uh, VAPS in hard to get and hard to orient, orient places kind of like up on these cliffs or up on buildings. And I can't tell you how many times I've beaten that guy because he just gets half of his army stuck, stuck. in a place where he's like, my <laughs> yeah. guys, my VAPS are secured, but I can't get down. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's like every game, he's like, sees a cool cinematic place to put a VAP. I'm like, it I, looks neat up there. I did that once. I actually put a, I thought, oh, I'm going to use my Wookiees to scale. But then I realized Anakin could jump too. Yeah. So Anakin actually jumped up and did evaporator in one of my games. Well, look at him being helpful. Yeah, he was <laughs> he was full support mode with his exemplar tokens yep. and everything. I'm glad Anakin has actually seen more play this weekend than I thought he would. I've seen a couple Anakin lists floating around. Yeah, for and sure. And I remember from from when he came out, he was pretty terrible. Um, he's uh, he's made a nice little comeback, and he's got a nice spot in the Garmetta right now. All right, so we see some of uh, Ryan's Wookiees making a charge here. Yep. Is there a chance to get Octobear on this stream? Uh, yeah, there's a, always a chance. There's, there is a chance. Um, there's always a chance, but I don't control who's who uh, comes on the stream or not. I'm yeah, just, we, I just stream we, what I'm given. Yeah, we're letting... Uh, and I've talked to, to LJ a little bit about this. I've let... Uh, we're not picking games for the stream. Right. Uh, because we are all friends. It is a tight-knit community. We don't want any... any little bit of bias because we could someone could come behind and say oh you picked this guy because his list would do really well on the stream table like yeah for a map setup uh so yeah. we're just whatever gets assigned to table number one on on the, the random tto pairings is what we're what we're going to get right i mean that's a great point you're trying to keep it random yeah just to make this make it fair in the tournament so that was a two a two body wookie unit with tenacity charging the ranged wookies i believe is what we saw there. Maybe if you gift 10 subs. <laughs> hey, man. You want to gift 10 subs, be my guest. I don't know if it'll help you. You also have to send us a photo of your proof of purchase of a Stabcast fanny pack. I'm not going to let David profiteer this by himself. Okay. <laughs> Drat. <laughs> it's all so insidious, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> They figured us out. They found Big Legion. Yes. Um, the grift is real. <laughs> Welcome, Will. There is there will be plenty of whining. I've, I've tried to keep it in. I was I was very whiny yesterday. I'm not gonna lie. I was very sad. You can whine tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I got a, I got a whole podcast for that, so it's fine. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday's coming, boys. Um, yeah. Okay, so some Wookiees are disembarking now. There were Wookiees inside that gray bus, and they are getting out. They're trying to help help Ryan's cause here. Yep. Also, friendly reminder, as our channel numbers keep going up and up and up, we got about 20 minutes left in uh, in the first giveaway. Uh, yep. So just hashtag giveaway in the chat. It'll, it'll, it'll give you a pop-up, right? You Yeah, so. it'll give you a pop-up when you enter. You do need to be present to win, so don't go away. Yep. I'm only going to give it away if uh, someone claims it. We're and just to reiterate, this is a this is a huge. Uh, it's a huge swag bag. It's a huge swag bag. It's a huge swag bag. <laughs> so these, kinda, LV, these LVO swag bags are nuts. I'm like, kind of jealous. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, me I may too. try to steal one. I yeah, think, <laughs> I think we only have 14 giveaways for the weekend. Not. Not, not what we originally promised. Yeah, for <laughs> real.
All right, incoming from Ryan. Yep. Woogies hop out, he disembark, move, and charge. I think Ram has done a really good job, and once again, it's it's e kind of easier to do with Wookiees, but we've not gotten that meaty charge in on Yoda where you can just try to force a bunch of saves and pop him. Yeah. Um, he's done a really good job kind of building a bit of a wall. He's protected his Yoda very well. I think that is the end of the turn. Uh, it would appear so. Command cards are getting flipped down. Let's see if we can get a grab a better view from our overhead. The glare is a little bit better today. Yeah. So that's sabotage. Okay. Oh, is he sabotaging Luminous? Oh, that could be good. That could be good. Thanks for all the gifted subs. Oh, there it is. Sabotage into no, it's into size matters not. So Ooh. sabotage is a flub. That's a, that's not great. Hey, Finity, thank you for the gifted sub. Yeah, man. that's awesome. Thank you so much. I love I love it. Thank you. Priority roll goes to Ryan goes who to, fist pumps in celebration. Yep. That, I mean, that was big. I think he's gotten two priority rolls in a row now. Yeah. Um, so that that's pretty fortuitous. Tesla, thank you for subscribing with Prime. Yep. Is he going to be able to catch the little green man? I wonder about that. He's got a chance on Yoda here. Oh, they're going to go into into phase ones, it looks like. They're measuring for phase ones. I'm trying to bully him off of that, so he's got to pull... Uh Pull another uh, another mini in or another action. I love seeing the chat full of subs and gifted subs. Yeah. That's so amazing. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, especially the Infinity and Stabcast Wolf for the gifting. Thanks so much. Big Wookie charge. Let's, is that what, five? I think that's a fiver. Oh, Yoda taking some stuff there. Was that Yoda or phase one? I, oh, that was yeah, phase I think one. that's phase one. I think he's just trying to get him off the VAP. Yeah. Um, so he's got to bring, because he, once again, he is at an activation deficit. That VAP has not been cleared yet. I don't think those Wookiees had lethal, so they weren't able to clear the whole squad. If they had lethal, they would have been able to clear it. Yep. Hey, Eric, thank you for subscribing with Prime. <laughs> what? I love Koki. Never change. Never change, dude. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't able... I shouldn't have said Yoda. He wasn't able to reach Yoda with yeah, the I charge. Don't, yeah. But I do like the disruption play of, of making him pull guys back to that. Me too. Let, not letting him shoot. It is a harder target, but... Now this is Yoda. Yep, Yoda coming in to save the day. Surgeon crit. Rolling a bunch of white dice that don't matter. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Three wounds. Wookie goes down. Now Yoda can do any of his actions twice here. 
because of the uh, uh, size matters not text. Right. More gifted subs. Thanks, Kruger. Thank you, Krugar, for a gift for another gift. Thank you. Helps support us and keeps uh, keeps us able to yep. do uh, more streams like this. They really are just using like seven square inches of this table. I think that model that that extra model was a was a either a stormtrooper. I think it was a stormtrooper who was pierced by the battle shield sharp end. Yeah. He had, he had it modeled on there. That's awesome. Yeah, that was such a cool model. Unfortunately, it had to get removed because Yoda killed it. <laughs> I don't do fancy stuff like that. I just use Blood for the Blood God. There you go. <laughs> and I put it on my Wookiee swords. Well, we love bringing it to you. So in about 20 minutes, we'll be drawing our giveaway winner. 20 minutes, so get your entries in now. 20 minutes. There's still another set of Wookiee of, of, uh, of Ryan's Wookiees kind of hiding out behind... Uh, behind that building to come around. Yeah, he's pressing in hard here with um, all his remaining Wookiees. But I definitely feel like a lot of the sail, or the wind has come out of the, the Wookiee charge sail. Yeah, it's um, uh, it's starting to, the storm is starting to abate, you know? So, but it really can feel, it really can feel like you're being tossed around. It can, but Wookiees can also spike real, 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 real hard. Yes. Um, comes said charge I believe that's Wookiees into other Wookiees trying to rescue Wookiees yeah I think that's what's happening here so big uh, three Wookiee melee Woo. Uh, it could have been nicer yeah he's got a name though for lethal double crit conversion seems there. seems good seems real good save. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of Wookiees peeled off the table. I think two and a two and a third. Two and a third Wookiees from that charge. Yeah, it's that's that's a big charge. Just getting bucketed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Will's got the right of the cold key. If I uh, if Tim had to if I decorated one of my minis with one of Tim's models every time I beat him, Tim won't have an army. <laughs> You would you'd have like a you'd have like a trophy a trophy rack. Plus, I I couldn't hobby it to justice, so <laughs> could not hobby it to justice. Yeah, that's my problem too. Yeah, I'm definitely not uh, not that skillful when it comes to this sort of thing. Well, the melee scrum continues. We're not sure if this is a rugby match or a, or a game of legion. Yeah, not quite sure. It's a lot of fur, a lot of flying is, fur. Is this another Wookiee joining the fray? I think this is another. This, this is one is, of Graham's uh, Wookiees. One of Graham. So now it's two Wookiees on two Wookiees. Yeah, so it's just all the Wookiees bashing and crashing into each other. We were talking about this at, at my end of the table at dinner last night. Um, oh. With if Wookiees become this prevalent and they're here to stay, um, it's a very good charge. Yeah, that's um, six. Do do sabs make a comeback? Do you build a I, wall of bombs? I wonder about that. A very decent save. Though. Yeah, two saves out of that isn't isn't terrible. No, so I think he's going to take five after lethal. Yeah. Oh, 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 we're, we're oh throwing no. Wookiees. <laughs> wow. 
One, two Wookiees coming off there. I have this problem at home with my with my Wookiee models too, where right. they're like crashing they're, each other. They, they, and they, get, the, they get oh, they get they get hooked on each all other. All the swords, yeah, get hooked in arms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they get they end up. It's like a square dance where they're just you know <laughs> hooking arms together. <laughs> It is a lot of fur. Yeah. Holy damn. One remaining Wookiee now. Yep. So uh, a Wookiee unit leader with tenac tenacity. This is Ryan's Ryan's one remaining leader there with tenacity. Into phase ones, or into Yoda. I think Yoda just blocked. Just did a full block there. Because I think that leader yeah. was in melee with Yoda. Yeah. So Yoda just full saves out. There goes Chewbacca. Yep, shooting at Wookies. Ryan, can I give an update on table seven? All right, we're going dark. I'll be okay, back. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Have returned. Ryan rejoining us. What happened in table uh, seven? Table seven looks like a really cagey game of uh, sabotage long march with some FDs mixed in. So, uh, not a lot of, I didn't see a whole lot of death when I kind of meandered over there. Looks pretty cagey, lots of hiding behind uh, LOS blockers. So, this is Chewie shooting Wookiees, I believe. Wookie dice doing Wookie dice. So one more down. Uh, Republic Chewie uh, will uh, bonk R2. Uh, he did a little bit of Guardian early on to, to keep some, some heat off of some red save units. Um, getting able to mitigate where, where your da opponent's damage goes and he, keep minis on the fire table. supported attack into the bus. Yeah, he got a fire support on a bus, which, which I think got, I think, three, uh, three wounds through. So, yeah, so Republic Chewie's actually been kind of a rock star. Yeah. He's been doing really well this game. So we got some rebel troopers pushing up. These slow activations that, uh, for lack of a better term, Ryan probably doesn't care about. He hits his vaps, and then I think you literally just have to try to go, uh, try to go mob evaporator on, of uh, of Grams. I think that's the, yeah, the only out here. Yeah, I don't think the wind conditions really changed since the last turn. No. So if, if you're Ryan here and you've not managed to, to put much hate onto Yoda like at all, um, I think that's a shooty Wookiee engaged in melee. Um, yeah, that's definitely melee from a shooting Wookiee. Yes, that is me in the background of the other camera. We we are hidden behind monitors mostly, but I will not deprive the public of my face. And Yoda snaps in. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's both of us back yeah. here. That, that's where the streaming table is. <laughs> so. We are we are visible on one of the cameras, yeah, just because of the angle. Yep. 
Which, you know, I'm not too fussed about. I think that's actually kind of neat. <laughs> People get to see us in action with our big setup over here. Yeah, the setup here is, is you know, I've done these a handful of times, and this is the best setup we've had by a, by a, a yeah. fair margin. Yeah, definitely. This is, this is quite awesome. The fact that we can get these low angles and uh, alternate angles. Yeah. And just angles. <laughs> Just angles, let's just be frank, angles in general. Yeah. Because <laughs> usually there's only two angles. There, there's yeah. like the there's like the overhead and the dice cam. <laughs> yeah. But now this setup uh, we have here running, we're, I think we're running six total cameras. We are moving up in the world. We were running some, seven. Some stars we, aligned. We ended to get rid of one, so. Yeah, some stars definitely aligned here. And we had a, a, great, uh, a great coming together of the technology and the people. Another, another, I think this is maybe a P1, four black dice. Yeah, it looks like a P1 into some Wookiees. Wookiees are going to save one out, but still take two wounds. So you're, you're Ryan here. Um, we kind of seen how this has gone. Do you, do you start ignoring Yoda? I think you might have to. I don't think you have enough time or resources to deal with him anymore I mean that's the that's one of the things I personally really love about the the hero style of play is their efficiency doesn't tank as you lose models yes uh, and Yoda is just as good when he's taking four damage as he is when he's taking zero yep um, his resources might be limited but his attack is still the same and his yep. card is still the same and that is the beauty of heroes and so with with him uh, him not running giving the the big tide to to be able to bonk him down. Phase one shooting Wookiees now for four. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty solid. That's huge. Okay. Minus light cover makes it three, and the Wookiees are going to take three. Another Wookiee model getting removed. So Ryan just getting. Phase one's doing work. Phase ones are doing work. They're getting. They're chopping up those Wookiees pretty good. I believe we're coming down to the last stretch in round three here. Yeah, these guys have been playing at a, at a pretty good clip. Yeah, um, it's just a lot of stuff going on. I'm used to having more time to meander through conversation and tell irrelevant stories, but these guys have kind of kept us on our toes. Yeah, they're... Uh, I feel like every time I go down a rabbit hole, we miss two activations. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're, they're, they're playing well. It's, yeah, absolutely. This is what we want to see. Well, we got about... Let's see here. Ten minutes till the next giveaway, to the, the giveaway winner gets announced, and then we're gonna do another one at, at eleven. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So we're at one forty. We're at uh, not one forty-five. We're at ten forty-five. Once again, you guys do got to be present to win. So keep an eye in a few minutes on your. Uh, we'll shout you out and keep an eye on your. Uh, yeah. Keep an eye on your chat. Your Twitch uh, Twitch inbox. The Sherv bus underway. So he is coming. Is he going to come off that rock? I actually kind of liked its position up there. I'm not going to lie. Me too. Um, but I, f I guess he feels like he needs to uh, needs to get in there. I don't know if anybody's in the bus. I don't think so. Unless you want to try to get some rebel troopers up there to jump in and kind of leapfrog them out. The tactic I like to do with fleets is put Wookiees in a bus, then they jump out and fleets jump in, and then bus gets to, to take them on a nice little ride. So it's trying to get that retrofit laser in there for the open shots. Gets one crit. The bus doesn't search to hit, I don't think. Uh, no, but that gun is uh, critical one. Critical one, yeah. So... And that's going to be the round. Looks like we're gonna have one more Rebel Trooper activate on the far end of the table, probably a double move to try to become relevant. Yeah. Uh, Graham's already picking up all his tokens. Yeah, we got- Like I uh, said, these guys playing at a, at a lightning pace. One thing I love to see, by the way, is um, people playing in events and their friends coming into the stream. A absolutely. That's one of my favorite things. Because I just think that's so cool that like people have like their fans. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. And the 
monster truck rally continues with bus number two in another precarious precarious spot but this this one's backside is is far more protected than the uh than the reckless bus was oh yes <laughs> that reckless bus was extremely reckless probably too reckless what's that line told you i did but um reckless is he Why do you have subs again? I don't understand this. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I provide entertaining that's, that's content. That's true. You're, you're right. You do. It's true. Uh, one command card's been picked. Uh, Yoda's one is in the uh, is in the pile. This is the is this the this is the luminous turn, right? Yeah, it's still no. This is still size matters not. Well, they're they're flipping. Oh, he would he would play luminous here probably. Yeah, because we we had the relentless. Turn one. I don't Wait. see why you wouldn't play Luminous here. Uh, looks like Covering Fire versus... Luminous. Uh, yep. Yeah. So is this another... Uh, this is the... They're three for three on uh, on Tide Rolls, and it goes Ryan's way a third, a third time. time. Yeah, so Ryan will again have the opportunity to punch first with his Wookiees. Many opportunities here for Ryan to punch first. So orders going out on every eligible unit for Graham. Yep. That comm jammer bus didn't it do didn't, anything. It was ultimately. not there at the right time. Nope. Didn't actually jam he did, anyone. He did triple move it on, on that first go. That's right. I mean, maybe just the uh, to, to play it a little back. But I also will say this table is awesome and it is beautiful. And this is not a critique. No. But this is a tough map to fit double bus on. Definitely. At least in relevant like, positions. Like, yeah. So it looks like we're trying to trying to figure out who's got what tokens where and why. I think both players. This is going to get confusing when both players are using the same order token set. Yeah, they're almost the same. Can be can be tricky. I uh, I always tend to keep for when I come to big events anyway. I keep a second set in my bag just That's in case smart. just in case I come up with someone with the same set. Um, Okay, looks like the bus is going first. So I just saw a tactician get rolled. Yeah, so there is a bus going first. Try to try to see what uh, what do you what he wants to do here. I don't know that the bus has to go first here. Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, unless he just wants to try to spam some aims to try to get lethal, but then you're going to let a Wookiee go first, but... Um, well, no, he drew the bus because oh, he, he can only bus. issue core yeah, tokens. Yeah, it's true. It's true. He drew, he drew Commander, and that is true. At least you get to toss a... You do get to toss a dodge out, which will get you Pierce Immune on the melee Wookiees. Yeah, on the melee Wookiees. Um, so slow down the... Uh, the lethal a little bit. <laughs> uh, they're razzing on you, man. That's fine. Okay. I'm still a little hungover. It's fine. Me too. They're not in. They're not in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, they're not in Vegas. They're not having fun. Well, they're having fun watching the stream, but yeah. you know, they're living vicariously through us. <laughs> Vader just walked by me yep. and force choked me. Uh, why is the commander token out for Shriv? Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you do that when yeah, you have you a field commander. Don't you? Ultimately, at least this state, it doesn't matter because he's the only heavy slash only commander. Yeah, it doesn't actually matter. Um, but I believe when he is your nominated commander, um, I think I think he does keep the the heavy token. 
Well, I'll have to look that up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Whatever the case, he drew it, and yeah. he has to use it. Yeah, he's the only heavy left on the table, so... So he's trying to, like... I think he's trying to block part of the evaporator here. Or at least let's, like, separate the Phase 1s from the rest of the army. Yeah. Yeah, building a, a bulwark here of, uh, of bus. Yep. That's a rule I don't actually know. I'm pretty sure, like you treat you treat it as a commander with its bubble, but it yeah. still orders. It doesn't change its rank. Yeah, I don't think it changes rank, but I don't know. We'll, we'll ask a judge. Maybe. I think the only way it would change its rank is if you have a commander and he dies, and you have to nominate a new one. You can nominate a, a field yes, commander. I think so. Which was not the case in this game. That's no, there okay. was there was the only commander in the list was that was eligible was Shriv. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, maybe he was like, well, I have to keep it separate from my other bus. Yeah. But I guess you don't have to if it you doesn't don't, you don't. Rank. You don't have to. Yeah, so that, that's, a, that's kind of an obscure rule. Yeah. I think it's obscure. All right, big Wookiee charge. Big Wookiee charge. This is uh, oh, Graham's Wookiees. Yep, because punching. the bus had to go first. Yep. Oh, such murder. It's, I believe, eight. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty gross. See what the defense dice say. That's uh, a phenomenal roll. Only if he only if he did it with a surging unit. <laughs> oh, with all those surges, I thought no, it, was three. it was three surges in one block. Oh, okay. My uh, eyes don't work on. No, this a little bit. It's a little blurry, but I believe that's three surges and a, and a block. Well, I mean, there's still a block in there. Every every block is a little blessing on Wookiees, so yeah, you can never really get mad at your at your crappy, crappy dice. Oh, you do change the token when promoting. That's wild. The more you know. Yeah, the more you know. I would not have known that. I'm having a hard time telling, but I wonder if, if um, the only Wookiees left are, are Grams. Uh, let me maybe try to go maybe find take out. take a look, yeah. All right, it is 155, so we're going to pick the giveaway winner now. And we'll announce it once uh, Brian comes back. It's uh, kind of tricky to tell over there, but I know Graham for sure has lost seven of his Wookiees. Oof. Um, but I think Ryan is almost out of Wookiees. Uh, so it's, it's definitely been, uh, been bloody. Okay, relaxed Sirius, are you in the chat? Because we need you to type exclamation point claim to get your giveaway. Congratulations. Congratulations, dude. We'll uh we'll be out to grab your uh grab your contact info at some point. Yep. Uh 
maybe during the lunch break and uh, give them details. Yeah, this, this prize pack is pretty sweet. Uh, we're going to be doing another one in a little while, so uh, definitely hang out, guys. Once again, you do have to be present to win. We're going to be going to be trying to give away a, a bunch, six of these swag bags today, um, for all you fine, lovely people. Yep. That 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 can't enter. I should have picked up my phone and I should have entered. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can you have, is there a pen over there? I got a pen. Oh, thank you. Ooh, a Frontline Gaming pen. Yep. Fancy. Stole it. Yeah, absolutely. Stole it from a table. Fancy, dude. <laughs> uh, we, after this game, uh, those asking when the next game is going to start, um, we are going to have our lunch break after this, so it will be a little while before round two begins uh but then after round two we'll pretty and we'll probably just stay live and go straight into maybe we'll take a bio break uh but go straight into round three so it's games there's gonna be a gap after this one but then uh the rest of your evening will be uh full of action and we i think we ended up around six pacific yeah uh yesterday so yeah so around we'll, uh six or seven yeah so we'll, we'll keep you guys entertained for uh, as long as we possibly can yeah So. so we're going to open another giveaway in about two minutes and you'll have another chance to win one of these sweet, sweet swag bags. Meanwhile, we've got Republic Chewy taking a shot on the table, yeah. I believe at the bus or at some Wookiees. Maybe some Wookiees? Doesn't no. It doesn't matter what he rolled. Yep. Yes. yep, three blanks and a Wookiee comes off the table. Yep, down goes that Wookiee. It's really unfortunate for Orion that those Wookiees are getting shot to pieces. It's, yeah, well, it's I like not said, they want to be. Both of them have traded really, really, really hard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that is a fantastic question, Bulky. <laughs> I think the answer is maybe. Maybe. <laughs> hold off on the giveaway hashtag, guys. We haven't yeah, hold, quite hold, set it up. We're, yeah, hold we're off. working as fast as we can. Hold we're a little slow an, today. Hold off for another minute. <laughs> okay. Also, big shout out again to our sponsors who have put this together. Darkfire Designs, Six Up, the Legion uh, Tournament Circuit. Um all the fa fantastic people. All right, the giveaway is up and available, guys. So go ahead and hit your little spams, uh, and we'll uh, we'll probably draw this one at the uh, the in an hour or at the end of or the, the game, end of the whichever game, comes whichever first. comes first. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, all don't go away for too long. Once you've entered. been a, uh, a pretty aggressive uh, pretty aggressive deployment I know I'm just looking at the timer 35 minutes so we got 35 minutes left in this in the regulation time and then 15 minutes of overtime after that so a, a healthy 50 minutes or so yeah. left to play so, which, once again don't think these guys are gonna need um, so while we've got we've got the illustrious Brendan friends here is your job this weekend to yell for Nima? Yeah. All right, cool. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure I we get you. Piece. We get you from time to time on our mics, yelling from from all the way over there. You know, because Nima's a nice, quiet, polite person. You're yeah. the opposite of all if those we things. Have to come up with made-up titles. I suppose I'm his herald. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan Franz, herald of Nima. Herald of <laughs> Herald of Nashi. I need to get a name tag with that. Yeah. I'll talk to Deepo. There we go. There you go. Sounds fun to me. <laughs> I 
I just I need to get a, I need to get uh, uh, Nerfly. Yeah. I need to get Nerfly to come stand in the background one of these games. Yeah. Just, just, we'll, just we'll, ominously being there. We'll we'll get him uh, we'll get him next time I have him walk by. We'll have him go stand next to Ryan. Yeah, we'll can put him on stream. Uh, on. Franz is not in costume today. Yeah. I'm imagining that'll change at some point this weekend. It probably will. Um, but we do have uh, Nervly uh, running the Unconventional Warfare event in full Vader getup. I find your lack of convention <laughs> disturbing. challenging. <laughs> yeah. Or something. I don't know. I, I botched that terribly. You, you did, but it's okay. Okay. Oh, Yoda taking a step towards the bus. Trying to get around behind it, it looks to, like. Yeah, I think so. Is that the... So Yoda takes a step towards the bus and then guidances the Wookiees behind the bus. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Ryan pulling from his bag. I, I feel like Ryan at this point is so much now just in a... I need to pull from my bag as quick as possible to try to grab as many special forces as I can before yeah. they die. But he's got that core bloat. Looks like Rebel Troopers maybe taking a pot shot. No, that was Graham rolling. Oh, that was Graham rolling? Oh, yeah. so some phase one's taking a pot shot. Yeah, I don't think it worked out. I think there's no wounds on the bus taken. And now Rebel Troopers are pushing up. They're actually able to get into range, some of them this turn, to make some make some kind of effect here. Who yeah, knows I almost be. think, though, that unless there's a Wookiee in the open, I think you just double move your Rebels and try to mob a map. Um... But he is going to choose to move and shoot. Oh, full but blackout. That, that, that's what happens, though. That's why I don't trust my Rebel Trooper dice. Me either. Um, and that is... Uh, well, that's turn, actually going to be playing the, lightning. That was that's turn, be the turn. turn three. Yeah, that was turn. Turn three complete, so... Uh, At least, wasn't it three or four? I think we've had one cycle of Yoda cards. Okay, one, yeah, one full cycle. Well, no, we had that was four because we had luminous. There is no try. Size matters not, and then we had luminous again. You're right. You're so right. So this is now five. So now we've got turning the tide versus I think size matters not again is what it looked like. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think so. Unless they roll it off, in which case it was uh, try. There is no try. They rolled it off, and I think Ryan lost priority there for once. No, I think he got. He was it was a surge or a block. It was a surge. All right. Yeah, yep, and he loses it for the first first time. For this the game. first time this game, he losing losing priority, but it might be too little, too late. Um, Yoda giving Chewie the relentless. There, it's pretty is, spooky. That's very spooky. Oh man, those rebel troopers are in the open too. They're gonna get cooked by Chewie, maybe. Chewie might also be able to move to the back of the bus. Oh. <laughs> So many tokens on Chewie. Yeah, Chewie just getting uh, two surges and a dodge. Yoda getting two surges and a dodge as well. So you're gonna dip Chewie into some cover, and maybe try to plow into the side of the bus. So you can aim, move, relentless. Yeah. Getting into the side arc of the bus there. Or is Chewie with Relentless going to melee the bus? Or is Chewie going to shoot Rebel Troopers? Yeah. Players got 30 minutes in the round. So Chewie's shooting, I believe. Great roll from Chewie. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Flipping a die for impact. Impact one in the bus. Pierce, one block it rolls. Yep. So the bus finally taking some damage there on two wounds out of eight. 
they I'm, are, fa I'm fairly certain that's the first wounds. So that's game. a good question, San Diego Center. Are they playing the objective or are they trying to wipe each other? They are playing the objective by killing each other. Yeah, this is sabotage. Um, I think Ryan's out is either, it's not going to be a table, but it's going to be trying to trying to slide some Rebel Troopers in at the, the very last. All right, here comes Graham's Yoda. Triple blanks, that's uh, you do five damage on the bus maybe? In, I, a, think, in a round? I think so. Yeah, five damage on the bus. In two activations. Yep. Bus activates, tactician rolling out two there. Some of some rebel troopers, it looks like. Which means you're running out of options if you're giving aims to rebel troopers. Uh, the objective score is four to four, yep. so it's a kill points game. Oops, <laughs> had that happen to my bus. Yeah, well, that's actually the easier way to do your repositions. Yeah, is just spin the base. Yep. I once had a. Uh, I once had a, uh, a player confuse my bus off its base on the board for a piece of terrain. <laughs> One of our one of our locals, uh, Scott, builds these really cool catwalk. He's got these cool catwalk pieces he can put with a table with. And uh, the Rocky Top Open last year, we had, we had a bus T forty seven and a double bus list having to fly underneath these suspended catwalks, and it was just like empty bases everywhere. It looked almost like a game of X wing. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. I was like, guys, I'm taking photos. I need I need on with, bases. Yeah, that's the problem with catwalk terrain and taking photographs. Yeah. Right? All right, heavy laser. He heavy laser. Can't complain. Three hits. Yeah, three hits. Very nice. But who did he attack? And displacement into some Wookiees. Or some P1s, I mean. I still have two half-painted buses on my hobby desk. I have one put together unpainted bus and one bus in shrink wrap. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like, they were so good and I was so eager to paint them up because I knew they were so good. But then they got nerfed and then I was like, oh, I don't feel like painting these anymore. Yeah, the buses are still good. They're just, you know, they're where they, they should. They're where they should be. Yeah. Yeah. Tactician, tactician was rough. I think just the, the and I think it's a cool design space the way they decided to change it because they didn't they didn't change its effectiveness but they altered the tempo of the game. Um, and I actually like that design space where, where yeah. we we add more stuff to the middle of turns rather than just at the at the start. I think the bus is weird a little bit now. I think if you're using it for tactician, you want to go with it first. Oh which, yeah. Which kind of like which rebels have a very tricky time with. We're, yeah, we're not have, great. At, we're not great at ordering vehicles. Yeah. So like. It takes away from your ability to do last first a little bit. Yeah. Which is kind of an important tactic, you know? And since, since buses, since Rebels tend to have a trickier time ordering vehicles, um, I've actually found I like the tactician-medic combo. Because tactician's great if you pull it early, medic is good if you pull it late. So that way you've got some options either way. Um, but you have to play a more passive bus if you're doing that, unlike uh, not a reckless one that you just get to fly in there all willy-nilly. I love these phase ones up on top of the hill that have just like taken the flagpole and not moved all game. They've just, just chilled out just there. Just rained down some, a little bit of hot lead. Yeah, they just chill and don't shoot. And he's even really clever and got one guy kind of uncohered down because he couldn't fit him up there. Um, 
So Chewy underway, he's moved shooting. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to kind of disengage, not try to point for fortress away some points because he is almost dead. The bus will take another couple wounds, I think. So the bus now on seven wounds, it looks like. That's a fair point. An orthodox tactician for unorthodox tactics. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, I think I think the bus will, will see another surge in power if and when, and I think it's only a matter of time of when uh, rebels get like a dedicated vehicle commander. Yeah, I think I think bus R2 Shriv is probably a good basis for just a list anyway. Yeah. So you know, you know bus R2, I could see like bus R2 Shriv, Cassian, you know, that's, sure. still, that's still probably fine. Yeah. But I think the bus might need an uplink just because you want to time the bus without having to, uh, you know, well, and that's what I'm saying. use up your resources. I would love from, to see a, command, a more vehicle centric commander for Rebels. Yeah. Because we kind of overnight became the armor faction accidentally. Yeah, accidentally. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, and I would love to see a, I would love to see a, a wedge or a, or a Hera or yeah you know I would love to see Hera and Chopper or something yeah. like that. I mean, you could even do a, do another edition another version of Han that, yeah. that focuses as Han the pilot rather than Han the smuggler. Exactly, or Chewbacca the engineer. Yeah, because that's that's that Chewie's other job. Yeah, I felt like if you gave Chewie repair one, it wouldn't be too bad of a thing, you know. Yeah, it's range three spotter 2.5 or something. Yeah. For what, 16 points, which is about right. It makes it like a set Big of electric binoculars. Big Wookiee charge from Graham. So look, when I went over to do the Wookiee count earlier, Yeah. Um, one of the things I noticed is Ryan's groups of Wookiees, while he still had, I think, more activations of Wookiees on the table, he had, each of them was, was spooled down while Ryan was really chunking Graham's Wookiees down one at a time and taking them all off the table. And I think there's merits to doing that, but it also means that Graham has a full unit of Wookiees that can throw, you know, six, eight hits. Um, and that can be tough to deal with as, as more and more stuff is coming off the table. Graham's Wookiees just tore those Rebel yeah, Troopers' arms off. Absolutely. <laughs> that was not even close. <laughs> I almost feel bad for those guys having to be sent in there like that. that yeah. Was, that was... I mean, you got to take one for the team. And that was eat, certain death. <laughs> eat the activation. That's right. You've bought the Rebellion time as a resource. Yeah, the stream timing is a lot better today. We've yeah. adjusted the... Uh, We've adjusted the bit rate. We've adjusted some other settings to make it a lot, a lot less late, a lot lower latency. So we're able I to. I just thought uh, it was our offerings to the dark gods that helped, but all right. I mean, part partially. <laughs> I'm sure that had something to do with it. <laughs> I feel like the, this is almost the exact same place that the. Uh, the red bus exploded earlier in the game where the gray bus is sitting. Some rebel troopers getting getting some pot shots off. Just a single crit pinging through. Um, gets a block as as red dice tend to do. Phase one's up on the hill. Look like going to take a rear pot shot on the back of Shriv. It's a. Uh, I think maybe he's gonna force two saves. No, it's three. Not bad. Three more damage on the bus from a phase one squad. Oh wow! And that is Shriv is down. 
game, game gets hard here. Game gets real hard here. Because he was doing a really good job of kind of bisecting and blocking off some line of sight. Um, finding uh, finding the win condition is going to be is going to be tricky at this point for Ryan. Well, thank you, Outlaw Mike. I appreciate that. That's a very very nice thing to say. Thank you. I like going on those horror scoundrels when I'm able to. That was a uh, that was a fun episode that we did. With me and John and Jay. Mm. Those are good people. I like all those people. Yeah. Except for that Jay guy. Except for Jay. Except for Jay. <laughs> Got to keep my 90s wrestling, wrestling beef alive. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do Hulk Hogan. You, my life. you can't. It's, that's true, but I'm glad we have that on the internet. Can someone please clip that? No, Thank please you. Don't. don't clip that. <laughs> We can, we, can, we can add that to your soundboard, right? Where people can spend some send it for some channel points? Technically, I could. <laughs> Technically, I could. Yes, Orc, I will be at Adepticon. We will be there, united once again. I'm also planning on going. Yes. Adepticon, Adepticon's going to be a blast. I, I personally am ready for a four-game day. I love those days. They're going to be long. They're going to be arduous. Uh, I'm probably going to be casting again. Okay. Yeah. Well, I really want to play, though. Even casting, like, four rounds in a day is going to be a, a nightmare. That's going to be a nightmare, yeah. It's been a long time since I've yeah. played four rounds in a row. Heck, even three rounds makes me really tired, even just thinking yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just get like, your, uh. Get you a friend. Get you a friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four rounds is a brutal day. Last time I did that with L was LVO 19. I know. I'm a glutton for punishment. Oh, a scoundrels and a stab cast live event. I don't know. It might get violent. <laughs> yeah, that might that might turn into that might turn into a real wrestling match. It's <laughs> Lewoski with the chair. Are you? Or is that is that the? Okay, so that, what's the story? So I don't know how much of that y'all picked up, but... Some uh, of it. Yeah, Graham, our Republic player here, uh, originally came as, as staff uh, to kind of help on the, on the admin side of things. He's a great hobbyist. He does amazing tables. It's his first time out to LVO because he's uh, just scheduling conflicts in January. And because of the way the buys worked out, he was our extra man to be our, our odd man player. So if we had a buy round one, he steps in and plays. And uh, here he is, having after, after doing that and having to play three games yesterday, from not being a late edition ad to just wanting to come and hang out and help out to making day two. Wow. Yeah, it's a cool narrative. That's a cool narrative. I like it. So. Yeah. All right, so 
Graham having uh, cleared out all the rebels that were yeah. that were oppressing him is now moving up with Yoda and the last remaining unit of melee Wookiees uh, to uh, uh, chew on some rebel troopers. Yeah, you gotta you gotta eat through those activations. I'll be uh, maybe at the end of the round. I'll get a quick act count update. Um, yep. But I imagine it's it's pretty even, and I think it's it's safe to say Graham's activations are a bit more uh, quality, a little bit more quality than naked rebel troopers. Yeah, not hard to. Because most most things are better quality than naked rebel. That's yeah, kind of a low bar. <laughs> naked rebel troopers are. I mean, are they literally the worst core unit? Yeah, I maybe think so. naked storms. Storms at least have red saves to kind of. Back they at them least up. have red saves. Yeah. This is round five, I think, still. And Graham's Rebel, or Graham's uh, Republic Wookiee is now moving in. Yeah, and that's the thing, is like, it's, it's still a full squad. Yeah, um, it's still very full, and I think it's gonna wipe out some more Rebel Troopers here in just a second. Oh, uh, the bus died. The bus exploded. <laughs> it exploded, yeah. Oh, evaporator down. Um. Yeah, Kolke's got the right of it. Chewbacca happened. Chewbacca's rolled, I think, three paint every... Uh, Every attack so far he's made with his bowcaster, at least. Wow. Um, Chewbacca's been, been putting in some some pretty nice work. Yeah, Chewie's been Chewie's been really performing well. Yeah, we are. I'm pretty sure all the VAPs have been maxed out, which is why we're just now seeing Rebel Troopers being able to enter the fray. Um, to this, get eaten by Wookiees. This looks like fire sported Chewie into the yep. Rebels that just moved up. Looks like they're going to force five or six. Uh, oh. No paint. No or paint. Not, or well, not enough paint. Not enough paint to, to survive that, and those Rebels are just going to get picked up. I mean, Ryan is doing everything he can to advance yeah. the Evaporators, but I think I think he is he's on the verge of being tabled, and I think he might just be showing his neck. Yeah. You know. I mean, you got to you got to do you got to do something. Yeah, you got to do um, something. Yeah, I mean, if you're in this format where you, you know, day two, you had a cushion, I, you can lose a game and, and move on. I know this pain. There's the handshake. There's, there's the handshake. Good game. Uh, Good game. Graham taking it down with Yoda, Chewy, Triple Wookies versus Double Bus, Triple Wookies. Yep. Here at the Las Vegas Open 2022. I'm Endless. I'm here casting with Ryan Slawski. Hi. Stabcast. Y'all should listen to the Stabcast. Yeah, so you want to you plug Stabcast while we get this giveaway rolling? Sure, yeah. You, you do the giveaway stuff. I'll plug Stabcast. Yeah. Uh, if you like bad Legion podcasts that are more casual than competitive and four friends yelling at each other, uh, you should find us on the internet at SW Stabcast where you can find, you know, all the other fine, entertaining, informative podcasts. Um, we start generating and drawing some winners... And who is our lovely winner for who gets to come on down, David? It is Darth Zinch. Darth Zinch. Congratulations on uh, winning. You got to claim. You got to claim your prize. We'll give you a bit to, uh, yep. to speak yep. up and claim your prize. Uh, it's what exclamation mark claim it's or hashtag claim? It's exclamation point claim. There we go. Clam. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta type it again. You gotta get that eye in there. I see you though. And uh, keep an eye on your your Twitch inbox. Uh, we'll we'll get this awesome prize pack from Six Up Supply, Darkfire Designs, the Legion Tournament Circuit. There you go. Good job. All right. And Atomic Mass Games. That's the other company that's Atomic, on. Okay. That, that, that you know, they're just the people yeah, that own just, Legion. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Look, they've been in hibernation for organized play for a minute. Yeah, they've really, they really have. Them. They're, they're trying to get their legs back <laughs> under them, you know. They're, it's, taking them, it's taking them a little bit. But, you know, they're, they're trying. They're a small company. You know, they're taking over some pretty huge properties. Yeah, oh, for sure. So, you know, I'm willing, I'm willing to cut them some slack. Nope, no slack cut. 
No, you're not feeling no it? No slack cut. Yeah, you're like, no. All right. MCP hasn't missed a beat. That's all I'm saying. Okay, that's fair. MCP was their game, though. I know, I know. Okay. Mudsling's what I do. All right, let me, um, let me just make sure that Darth Zinch knows to send me a message. Yep. David's going to do some admin stuff. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We do have a lunch break uh, after this. And I believe round three or round two, excuse me, is going to start at one Pacific, uh, which is about an hour and a half from now. So we'll probably uh, we're going to probably bring the stream down, or are we going to let it ride? Um, we'll do one of those two things, and uh, we will see you guys back after lunch. Uh, I'll try to get some uh, some updates on what list made it, one what list didn't, so we have some some banter in case we have a game that they don't play at a thousand miles an hour. Yeah, that um, was really fast. <laughs> uh, so it was, uh, it, was, uh, it was a good time, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, we'll see y'all after lunch. Absolutely. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll be back later.